Hi, this is Cherie with Rehash Fiber, and I have something really fun for you today, the Jolligan Spindle. All right, we're gonna have some fun with this. I'm gonna start out with the top three reasons why it's good to know how to spin with a Jolligan Spindle. Number one, if you're a fiber artist, add this really cool Scottish Canadian technique to your repertoire. Show up at your fiber art group and you have something really cool to show them, talk about, and you can give them a little bit of history. The second reason, everything in Scotland is cool. The beautiful scenery, their accents, scotch, and of course this. Third, push yourself out of your comfort zone and do something new. I am a spindler. This did that for me. I was uncomfortable, didn't like it at first, and I thought just keep going because it's good to grow a little bit. And I did wanna know how to do this. All right, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about this. Because it's called the Scottish Spindle, I thought I'd start with, can I get it from Scotland? And sure enough, on Etsy, there's an artist named Bob Thompson. He's from Edinburgh, Scotland, and this is made with Scottish oak. So I just thought it was perfect. And he sent along this info sheet with a little history of the Jolligan Spindle. It's from the 1700s and was used mostly in Northern Scotland. And then after the Battle of Culloden, when a lot of people were sent to Canada, they took this with them. So it's known in both places. All right, so now let's get on with the tutorial on how to use it. To set up the Jolligan to spin, I do like to use yarn as a leader. Lay it over the Jolligan and hold it with your thumb and just wrap it around a few times until it starts to feel secure. That's why I have a pile here and I haven't cut it because I don't know how long I'm gonna want it to be. Now, you guide it through the groove at the base of the Jolligan, bring it up to the top. Here is where you do a half hitch to secure it to the top. <laughs> there we go. Now you're ready to spin. The yarn leader is on here and we're gonna get ready to spin. So I'm gonna take off a little bit of my nice combed Shetland top and I'm gonna lay a lot of the leader across it because I want the twist to go into both so it will hold it securely. So that leader is just right in there. We're gonna start the spin. I just take it into a clockwise spin and let it start to build up. And I have to do it a lot to get it to go. Just keep working with it. You really want the leader to join with the fiber. Just gonna go for a little while so that I have enough to wrap and prep for the next spin. All right, let's see if that's enough. I'm gonna do the butterfly wrap around my fingers, like so, back and forth. Usually I'm sitting and this is between my knees so I have control of the spindle and then I can take care of it. All right, so to loosen the half hitch, just pull the yarn that's closest to the spindle. It will loosen that, pull it over the top. Now we're gonna start the wrap. And gently, just wrapping it around. Right now we're just wrapping. Eventually we'll start making the ball, but I needed to get that join in there. Now be sure and leave enough yarn so that you're able to bring it up to the top again. A lot of times I end up cutting it short and I'm just redoing it over and over. So make sure you have enough. Do another half hitch. And off you go again. I got a little bit tight there. That's gonna be a little bit loose. So let's rejoin that. Okay, here we go again. and you get the idea.
The yarn that I just spun, I butterfly wrapped around these fingers. Now it's time to wrap it on the ball. To release the half hitch, just pull on that bit of yarn there, release it over the top. Now to make our ball, the key is to keep the yarn on the ball so that it stays a ball. And we're gonna wrap at an angle and bring it back over and turn the jolligan just a little bit, wrap it, bring it over, turn just a little bit, bring it over. As you can see, I'm not real perfect at this, but I get the job done. And when it's done, it will be a nice center pull ball. So just continue to wrap it. And so that it doesn't turn into this oblong weird shape, just try to keep the yarn on the yarn that is already here. It helps it become a ball and just get bigger this way. Be sure you leave enough yarn that you can set yourself up again for a spin. Bring it up, do a half hitch, bring it over. Now you're ready to spin again. When your ball is as big as you want it, you can just slide it off. And there you have your center pull. So if you take this on, just remember, get through the part where it's a little bit clunky and frustrating till you get to the point where you can enjoy this piece of Scottish history. And just remember, you're adding to your repertoire. All right, everybody, happy spinning and thanks for watching. If you're enjoying this programming, I invite you to become a supporting member. There are a couple of ways you could help out. You can go to my website, rehashfiber.com, and under supporting members, it takes you to Patreon, where you can give as little as $3 a month. If you sign up to Patreon, you get a little thank you gift of the Rehash Fiber pin, and that's mailed within the United States only. The other way you can help out, also through my website, is check out the merchandise. There is a ton of fun things, from t-shirts, water bottles, coffee bags, project bags, and more. So your support will go to the fees that it takes to keep this going every month, products and road shows, and more. So thank you for any amount of support and thanks for watching.